The lingering echoes rerun brings us back to the classical music streets of Lithania, where we must again put down Ebenholz's uh, roommate. This event features many enemies with high amounts of res, which is not good for my team that only mainly does arch damage. It is also looking grim since LE is another low op event, featuring only the angry piano man, two high biscuits, and the one, the only, the goat himself, even balls. The odds are stacked against me this time around, but now it's time for us to dive into the streets of Eisheim and see if the Even Blast can come out victorious, or will we fail this recital? LE1 introduces us to the main mechanic of this event the beam that gives you increased SP regen, as well as helping you deal with the enemies of this event. However, with such a low OP count, it is quite awkward to set up and make use of to its full potential. Also, if your ops are not in it, you get reduced SP regen. So that's cool. While I was explaining all that, I failed the first stage since Eben was set to skill 3 which only targets elites and bosses, so I must watch as this guy just waltzes into the blue box. Eben is most known for the funny damage he can do with his S3. With a lack of ground units, I use his S2 as a pseudo lane holding option. The stage goes smoothly but gets a little booty clenching at the end due to Eben's slow attack speed, but I get bailed out by the last enemy stopping to attack Eben. LE2 is a fairly simple stage despite having two exits. Eben with some help from Hibby are able to hold the enemies that go towards the exit exit that is not blocked by Cherny. This stage introduces the big chunguses of the event. The golems are super easy to kill within the flux beam, but get super tanky outside of it. Luckily in this stage, I am able to make use of the beam and all go down Cherny's lane. Overall, an easier stage than LE1. LE3 is a bit of a tricky stage with two blue boxes. This stage introduces the headaches of this event. The casters that attack two enemies and when they attack operators outside of the flux, they deal massive splash damage. They also have a ludicrous amounts of res. With even Blast and Hibby Alter, they are able to consistently take them down, albeit a little slowly. I reach the end of the stage, but the last wave spawns three of the casters that take out my Hibby squared, and alone even holds is unable to take down the last two, leading to a failure at the last step. I attempt to switch my opening to a Hibby altar, but her placement on the right side does not give her enough time to take down the first enemy. I try again with her on the left, only focusing on the one lane, and this works, and it allows me to place Cherny much more aggressively in anticipation for the last two casters that spawn at the end of the stage. But for reasons that are all dumb, I place Eben at the top where he just gets blown up by the spiral caster. I try again with Hibby Alter and actually make use of the mechanics. Both Hibiscuits are placed at the top while Eben is placed on DPS duty on the bottom. Cherny is placed on the bottom lane to get prepared for the last two casters. This setup gets us quickly and safely to the end of the stage where Cherny blocks and Eben slowly takes down the last two casters. LE4 seems like a difficult stage, but it did not turn out this way. This stage has two lanes, however, the big space in the middle lets the balls as two do good work and not really need any assistance. Cherny and Hibi Alter are able to handle the bottom lane. This stage introduces the violinists that are able to do damage along the line of the flux and are quite chonky. They don't prove to be too dangerous on this stage however. Even holds the top side of the stage with relative ease and Hibi and Cherny do very good work on the bottom. This stage ends with Even slowly taking down the violinists for a rather easy clear. LE5 took me an hour to figure out since it's very restrictive on placement from my ranged operators and there are a bunch of headache inducing enemies on this stage. I start with Hibi Alter but her placement is bad and the enemy walks by for free. I open again with Hibi Alter placing her at the top and this gives her just enough time to take down one trash mob before they get out of her range. I set up even at the bottom and I'm forced to place Cherny to stop an enemy from leaking. This stage introduces up? the stun boys that well stun your units. Any of my units that get caught in the stun, it's essentially game over for them, due to my lack of consistent healing. Hibi gets caught by the stun, but even on S3 is able to handle it. However, some sick fuck did Generate. Thought it'd be funny to make a golem be on the last bond at the bottom lane, and it leaks since even it's not able to take it down fast enough. On my next attempt, I again am forced to deploy Cherny to stop a leak due to the timing of Hibby and Ibis not lining up to take down the enemy. I lose again due to the last golem leaking. I am able to find good timing that lets Cherny be deployed on the right side. But once he starts blocking the stun boy, even no longer focuses on the top of the stage, thus leaking two enemies. After a few more failed attempts, I make the choice that I would change the rest of the stages going forward. I switched to even S1, which doesn't actually change all that much on this stage, but it is a skill I will keep for the rest of it. I finally get a good run, whereby some miracle Hibby Ultra extends her rage by 1, taking down an enemy outside of her range. Even takes down the elite caster, but I blunder by not placing OG Hibiscus quick enough, letting the spiral caster blow up my Hibby Ultra for free, thus letting them all walk past even holes. After 45 minutes of failure, I place my faith in the max level Hibiscus, and of course I fail. I end up settling for a stall strategy because there's a weird interaction with the stun caster. 
where he will still prioritize the last place unit despite being blocked. Having been on the stage for an hour at this point, I absolutely retreat Hibi Ultra, which lets Hibiscus perish to the stun, and that lets Cerny get targeted, leading him to be stunned and me leaking once the stage was already won. I get to the same point again, and at this time I don't fumble the bag and only retreat even. I place even balls once he's ready and use the glorious power of S1 to mow down the last two enemies in the streets of Chicago. LE6 is hard. This stage introduces the sax player that does big damage, but he's not really a problem on this stage. The real problem on this stage is the other enemy the purple slugs that spawn in mass groups. They're the true headache, and paired with the many spiral casters that spawn, this stage becomes quite the troublesome one. This will be the start of a two hour long battle of attrition of my sanity versus this stage. Try with even S2? Nope, sorry, idiot. Your SP is too slow, so by the second big wave of slugs, he isn't ready. I instead switch both Cherny and Eben to skill 1 to further this meme of a skill 1 sweep. And it actually works, which is the worst part. Cherny is unable to take down one of the golems quick enough, so I give him more levels that lets him do the job. I have even gunned down the slugs on S1, which works out quite nicely, but a spiracaster spawns at the same time, and their high res and even running out of his skill causes a leak. But we are progressing. We start building on a strategy and decide that Hibby Alter redeploy is necessary for victory. But there's a slight problem with no high biscuit sitting on the range tile, even doesn't last long enough, and perishes quite quickly. So I try again and only flip Hibby around so she can both heal Eben and soak up the damage from all the enemies. The second big wave is still a major problem for my squad, and we leak the slugs. This leads to another 30 minutes of trying to figure out timings for Eben and Cherny, but always losing to the last two spiral casters and sax player. In this section, I also found out there's a kill gate on the stage, it being the sax player. So a good many minutes were spent on stream just listening to Cherny slowly kill the sax player with his modified piano. This is when the weird stuff started to happen, and I got a little wacky. I decided this stage would be clear as a full S1 sweep for no real reason other than it would be a funny meme. And this goes about how you would expect, with me failing constantly over and over and over again for almost an hour. I get relatively close to winning, but I'd always stumble right at the end, just like in all my other previous attempts. After getting a little silly, I decided to do a funny strategy, where I employed the use of Machine Gun Eben to just mow down everyone on the right side and leave Hibby Alter and Cherny to do their thing on the left. And it somehow works. There are some flaws to patch up, since the Spirecasters just do barely enough damage to Eben, that he's unable to make it to the end of the stage without healing. So on the winning attempt, I had to redeploy Hibiscus to heal even a singular time before recheating her again, to set her up to keep Cherny alive. Even mows down the right side and with the power of Cherny's S1 and Hibby's S2, they are actually able to handle the last wave of enemies, leading to a very fulfilling victory after a grueling two hours of attempts. Now you might ask, why didn't I just use Lava? Because this way was more funny. And was it worth it? No. LE7 is a stage of all time, but all shall crumble under the might of Even Balls' S1. Despite just saying that, I start the stage with Cherny and Hibiscus, and they immediately leak. Karma for not trusting the goat. I open the stage with Eben on the top of the stage so he can snipe the enemies. This stage introduces Gertrude, the old milf Tosa. For every masterpiece, there is a cheap copy. She's not all that strong or dangerous, luckily. However, my team falls apart before she gets a chance to do anything. I fiddle with my placements in the middle that all lead to failure. The winning setup ends up being Eben where he has been, holding all the middle of the stage, with Hibiscus facing upwards. Cherny is placed to tank one and all, and the stage goes rather smoothly with all the units doing their jobs as intended. The Milf Tosa perishes the Eben S1, and the stage is cleared very slowly with Cherny bashing his piano against the golem. It's finally time for us to fight Eben Balls' roommate. It's our duty to put Cried out of his misery and let him finally rest. However, I think it's more funny to let Cried live and let the goat have a Beauty and the Beast situation. This notion is definitely not because I am unable to clear the stage, making me use a forced contrivance, but rather it's purely based on the absolute hilarity of the situation. This stage is tough due to the limited opening options. Opening the Cherny, blocking the right, is not possible due to even not being able to quickly take down the casters on the left side due to their high resistance. Thus, my opening is very much relegated to Hibby Alter and even on the right side. It takes some fiddling with even and Hibiscus' skills, but I am able to find a way to let both units survive cried walking past them, while also being able to take down all of the enemies. This comes at the cost of human sacrifice, with Lava Alter being given to the Witch King. However, despite all of this, the best I can only ever do is get cried past phase 1 and my units usually crumble to phase 2 or lose to the big onslaught of slugs. So it would seem that this recital will end with no one being the victim in the music inspired event. W wait Music? Lingering Echoes is a music event. HG is a music company. So any operator that has music attached to them means they're allowed. We've made a huge breakthrough. So in the end, I unsheathed as she soared and blew cried up across the winds of victory. And I won. The end. Lingering Echoes was surprisingly doable even without using Lava, so I'll take this event as a whole as a victory. I am glad that I was able to show the absolute might of Eben S1, so for those of you Eben Ball simps that have him M9'd, be vindicated in your choices. It is now time again to look forward to the future to a much more doable event with our 4th anniversary. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, consider liking and subscribing, every little bit helps. Till next time.